you want to learn how to customize your GUI inside of Minecraft, well today I'm going to teach you how to do exactly that. As you can see, some things I've already customized are my XP bar, which is pink, and my hearts, which are grey. And you can learn how to customize stuff like that, but also inventories like this furnace right here, this crafting table right here, and your own inventory, and literally everything else as well. So let's get started, shall we? The first thing you want to do is go ahead to your desktop or something and then press Windows and R at the same time, which should get you this little pop up. And then you want to type in percentage sign, app data, and then another percentage sign, just like that. Then you can hit enter or click on OK, and you should end up in this folder right here. And somewhere at the top, you should find a .minecraft folder. You want to go in there and then find yourself your versions folder and enter that too. Now is the time for you to decide what version do I want my text my GUI pack to be, right? So in my case that's just gonna be 1.20.1 actually. Um, I'm gonna be making it for that. You can make it for 1.20. Maybe if 1.20.2 is out by the time you're watching this video you'll do that. Maybe 1.21, maybe 1.25. Now um, just whatever version and you can enter that folder. Now, um, only versions that you've loaded up before in Minecraft are going to be here. So as you can see, I haven't loaded up actively recently 1.14. So as you can see, it's not here. Um, anyways, you want to enter the folder and you should see two files, one .jar file and one .json file. Um, now, you want to make sure that you can locate the .jar file. As you can see, I can see that .jar and, jar and .json at the end. However, if you can't, that's something you'll need to fix. So, ideally, you want to go over to View, Show, and make sure that file name extensions is ticked. Yeah? Now, depending on your OS or the device you're using, this might look a little bit different. Either way, you want to make sure that you can see file name extensions. Anyways, once you have your located, your .jar file, you can just copy that and then paste it onto your desktop or wherever you want to work. Next, what you want to do is go ahead and actually rename that. And you want to remove the dot jar from the end. Then, once you've done that, you want to replace it with a dot zip. You're probably going to get this pop-up, but if you change a file name extension, it might become unusable. We still want to change it, and uh, we just click on yes, and as you can see, this is now going to turn into a zip file. So, it's a zip file, which means we'll need to unzip it, or extract it to turn it into a regular file folder. I can do that by right clicking and then clicking on extract all. However, depending once again on the device you're using or your operating system, you might need to install a program to help you with this. I'll link a program called 7-zip or one called WinRAR down in the description for you guys and you should be able to use it to uh, complete this action I'm doing right here. It might take a little bit of time as you can see for me. 3 minutes and 30 seconds. There we go, it's finished. As you can see right now, we are left with a 1.20.1 folder and a zip file which we just extracted. We can just remove that to the recycle bin. Anyways, now we can enter this irregular folder and we'll need to go on a bit of a deleting spree. So the only thing we want to keep from all this is the assets folder which is by far the, mo the biggest one. Um, so you want to click on the com folder right there then scroll all the way down and now depending on the version you chose this might be um, less or more files you want to hold down left shift and click on the bottom one that's an easy trick to just select all of them right click on that and then click on delete and your computer or laptop or PC or device might even need to think about that because, you know, it's obviously a bunch of items you're deleting. We are recycling 13,600 items. So, yeah, that's definitely quite a lot. Anyways, now we're going to be left with the assets folder. And in here, um, you can delete these two. You only want to be left with the Minecraft folder. In the Minecraft folder, you can delete everything except the textures folder. And inside of the textures folder, you can delete everything except for the GUI folder. There we go. 
now we are left with the GUI folder and if you click on the tutorial then you'll probably know that we are going to be making a custom GUI and that is exactly why we are here. So you can open this up and you'll be able to see a bunch of things most of which you probably recognize from inside of Minecraft. And I'm just going to open up the probably one of the most important ones right here. As you can see, this is the texture for your hotbar, um, the selected hotbar slot here. We have um, the messages icons. We have some buttons right here. These are just regular buttons, the background of every single button. So we got those right Right here, we just got these uh, these the lock the lock symbols as well, which you might recognize. And in here, this is also one of the most important ones. We've got all the hearts. Yeah, as you can see, we got all the hearts here. The XP bar. Um, I think this is the horse jump bar, the Ender Dragon bar. So you know, that's uh, pretty cool. You got your connection bar, your cross um, cross hatch. Pretty sure it's called. You got bubbles popping bubbles you got hunger you got all that cool stuff yeah so basically what you can go ahead and do is just literally edit these files and that can allow you to change them so my hearts um i want them to be black so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just i'm, I'm paint 3d by the way just because it's really simple for me to show you guys there but you know you can choose basically anything you want um, to edit these and I'm just gonna go ahead and edit this right now so I'm using the pixel pen set to a thickness of one pixel as you can see and I'm just gonna be making this heart a different color and you can basically do whatever you want here you can edit things you can make them um, however you wanted them to be as you can see that's basically what I'm doing and you can edit these as much as you want now do keep in mind that if you change the location of these like you can't just draw something in here and expect it to show up inside of Minecraft because it won't um, you need to actively edit all the things that are there um, you'll be able to recognize a bunch of them as I said um, let's take a look at the XP bar here as well as it starts filling up it starts turning green I can, for example, change that to pink. Beautiful. So now, as you can see, my entire filled up um, XP bar is going to be pink. Amazing. Now I'm done with this file, so I can just click Control S to save that, and I can just edit different things. <coughs> now we haven't... <coughs> Now we haven't actually looked in any of these folders yet, but as you can see, there's going to be a bunch of things in here as well. So the addition, Minecraft logo, yeah, in each of these folders, there is more stuff. In this case, there's hanging signs here. There are containers here, which is probably also one of the most important things. Uh, we can, for example, go to where is uh, where's crafting table? There it is. This is the crafting table, and I don't know. We can draw in here. Um, a smiley face. Yay. Oh, that's actually really lopsided. That's also not any better. But I'm pretty sure you guys get the idea. Um, and then we can just go ahead and click Ctrl S to save that. A beautiful. Uh, as I said, you guys probably get the idea, right? You can edit these however you want. Probably do it a bit more professionally than me. Once you've done editing everything, which I have done now, um, or just, you know, editing whatever you want to edit, right? You can also come back and change this later if you wish, so you don't need to worry or stress about that. You want to go ahead and right-click, go over to New, and then select Text Document. You want to call this Pack, and make sure that there's no capital letters and no spaces anywhere. Yeah, once you've made that, you can go ahead and enter it. And I'm opening it up with a Notepad++, which is pretty cool. It's like 8 megabytes. You can download it for free from the Microsoft Store or just from online. Um, and basically, what you want to do is you want to head over to the description and paste in this. And if you don't want to go over and make your own text file or you're struggling with that, then you can also just download this entire file. Yeah, so you can either make your own file and copy this text from the description, 
or you can go over to the description and just download this file. Yeah, either way, it should work just fine. Um, and there's a few things here that we can or need to change still. Yeah, first off, we got the description over here, and there's two quotation marks. In between the quotation marks, and only in between the quotation marks, can you type your pack description. So this can be, um, for example, in my case, subscribe, please, uwu. Please subscribe, though. Um, you can make this anything. You can just call it your pack. You can put in a version. So this is, for example, maybe version 1.1.1.1.1. Version 1, okay, that's the version of this pack, maybe, I don't know, you can choose if you want to, you can do that, just, this will show up inside of Minecraft, this will just help you identify the pack more and learn about what the pack is. Next, you do also want to go over to the description, because you need to go over to the Minecraft wiki, yeah, and we want to go over to this pack format page, which is the one linked in the description, uh, and you want to uh, scroll down here, make sure you're under the resources tab, that's where you want to be, because it's, it's, it's going to be the very top, yeah, and you want to make sure that you know which version you're making your pack for. What am I making my pack for? Minecraft 1.21. I can see 1.21 right here. And that means my number is 15. Yeah, 1.20 is here. Your number is 15. Right, 1.19.4 is here. Your number is 13. Yeah, basically 15. Control C. Or, you know, you don't, you don't really need to copy it. But just remember the number that corresponds with your version. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and go back to your pack.txt file. And... Oh, it says pack format right here. I think I've heard that somewhere before. You'll see a comma here, and right in front of the comma, you want to type whichever number you had to do for your version. In my case, it was 15. Yeah, and depending on your version, this might just differ. That's why I linked the Minecraft wiki page in the description. So, once you've done that, this file is finished. Well, this part of this file is finished. You can click on Control S to save it, or go over to File and save it from there. Either way, you can just exit out of it. Yeah, now there's actually one more thing you want to do with the renaming, and that is to rename this, and not rename the pack part, but the txt part. Yeah, so you want to remove the .txt from the end, and you want to call this .mcmeta. That is .mcmeta. Yeah. Once again, you're going to get this pop-up that we saw before. That's absolutely fine. And now, in my case, this is this logo here, this image preview, whatever here, isn't changing. However, in your case, it might turn white, and that's absolutely fine. Yeah, that's probably going to happen. Um, nothing to worry about. Under type here, you need to make sure that it says MC Meta File. If it says that, you've done it correctly. If it doesn't say that, you've done it incorrectly, and you're going to need to sort that out somehow. Um, mainly by making sure that you actually add, but well, replace the .txt. So make sure that it doesn't look like this. Yeah, but like this. Anyways, once you've done that, you're basically good. Now, there is also one more optional step, and that is to actually add an icon to your pack. Yeah, I'm just going to paste in an image here. This is my channel logo, which is beautiful, so it obviously has to be the icon for my pack. And now once again here, there's a few things you want to do as well. First off, I recommend just going into, for example, Paint 3D, and just making sure your image is square. Either way, make your image, make sure your image is square. Yeah, if it is not square, um, it's either going to get cropped or stretched inside of Minecraft, and you probably don't want that. Yeah. So mine is square. Perfect. That's step one done. Next, you want to go ahead and rename it. And you once again want to call this pack. Just like that. Beautiful. And now you'll see that the file name extension for this is that JPG. Yeah, depending on the image you're using, this might be different. Either way, no matter what image you are using, you need to make sure that the file name extension is PNG, just like that. Now, 
you're using your own image and there's probably a big chance that it was already that png and if it was then congratulations you can leave it just like that anyways you want to make sure this is called pack.png if it is that's successfully going to be your pack icon fantastic now we've done everything and we can work on importing our pack to do that you can just select all three or two files depending on if you have an icon or not right click on them and then click on compress the zip file and this is similar to what we did earlier with extracting but it's the exact opposite yeah now once again depending on your os or the device you're using you might need to use a program called 7zip to do this basically i can press on compress the zip file and then you can call this anything you want in this case i'm going to call it ism 64s gui java job oh my god java edition pack there we are um and then you can i mean i made mine for 1.20.1 .1, so i'm just going to put that in the title just so i remember because i'm stupid you can put it there as well as you want um i always like to do that anyways basically you can just drag this to your desktop or somewhere else accessible and this is now literally your pack congratulations now that your pack is finished you can load up whatever version of minecraft you made your pack for in my case that was 1.20.1 .1. you can go ahead and click on options then resource packs and then you want to grab your pack and just drag it in like that click on yes you can scroll down a bit and as you can see you can see your pack here it's 64 is gy java edition pack that's the name you can see the description in, in light gray right there and you can see my pack I got there too beautiful we can just enable that make sure that it has the highest priority so not like this but like this there we go and then you can just click on that there we go now we can go ahead and head um right actually into minecraft um wherever it, oh yeah just into a random world there we go let's enter into this world right here we can just go ahead and load it up and we can test out our pack so um to do that i'm probably hold on let me give myself a crafting table um i'm in creative i'm stupid so there we go we got ourselves a crafting table and let's change um our game mode to survival and as you can see oh my god look at that my hearts are gray i did that that is so cool you can definitely do something nicer than to your hearts gray, uh, but yeah. We can look at the crafting interface too, and as you can see, I apparently misclicked here. <laughs> and uh, I also added the uh, smiley face right there, which is beautiful. Once again, you can probably do something more creative than me, but still. Uh, now we just need to find uh, a way to get experience. Oh, that wasn't so hard. There we go. Look at that. My XP bar is now pink. Oh my god. That is beautiful. I'm in love with it already. Um, anyways, basically, as you can see there, uh, that's, uh, well, that's what we changed with this pack. Oh yeah, also guys, by the way, you can download the pack I made in this video if you want. Just so you can have a reference for yourself or just check out how I made my pack. I hope you guys think of some interesting things to do with your packs. Let me know what you're making with your pack down in the comments. I'd love to hear. And um, basically for right now, that's it. Thank you ever so much for watching. And I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye. Also, if you are having troubles with your background panorama instead of Minecraft being gray, what you want to do is just delete this title folder right here. Yeah, just delete that, then continue making your pack, and that should solve all your issues.